Have you ever compared yourself to other people, maybe your favorite influencer, maybe friends that you were in a coaching program with, maybe people that you admire that you follow? And as a result of that comparison, found yourself feeling lacking or wanting or wondering like what in the world you are missing. Well, today our episode is all about comparison and how to break the comparison curse and embrace your own journey, your own path. What I have seen over the last nine years is that it's so, so, so common. In fact, probably almost all of us do it to look around at other people in our space who are talking about the results that that we want to have when it comes to whatever K months or whatever K followers or however many clients that they have, how quickly they did that with how much ease, their simple system, and make ourselves wrong and judge ourselves. And I've coached a lot of clients around this. I've dealt with it myself because almost never when we are comparing ourselves, do we choose to compare ourselves to people where we're going to come up feeling like we've won, where we're going to feel like, oh, wow, I'm really, really doing a great job. No, we're going to compare ourselves to people who are further ahead than us in these metrics that matter to us. And we're going to make ourselves wrong and we're going to judge ourselves and we're going to get stuck and we're going to beat ourselves up. What am I doing wrong? What am I missing? I know I'm good at what I do. Why am I having this particular struggle, why am I not further along? Well, it really, really is true, that quote that says comparison is the thief of joy. And this is this comparison curse can make us so miserable and distract us from what we're meant to be doing, what we're meant to be doing in our businesses and with our calling. So I can tell you, look, we've all admired these people from afar. We've all thought, wow, if only I had what they had, everything would be fine. If only I had a multi six figure or a seven figure business, whatever. If only I was doing 20K months, let's say, or 50K months or 100K months or whatever it is, then everything would be great. And we forget that these people have become successful on a path, through a path, on a journey that we will never know the depths of, that we will never know the highs and lows of for real, because we are not in their house, living with them, seeing up close. And I can also tell you, having seen behind the scenes of some of these businesses that you probably look at, admire, wonder how they do it. I am always reminded that we are, we are not so different, (laughs) even though we act like it must be so, so, so different, or it must, in one way, we act like it must be so different. In another way, we act like It's just around the corner, right? And it might be, but what we forget is that they're always dealing with problems of their own and that social media is their representation for marketing their business, not what's actually going on in their life. Even if they share some behind the scenes and some vulnerabilities, like the nitty gritty of what's really going on in their life, what they're in at the time, you just have no idea. And while those big months solve some problems, they don't solve every problem. Sometimes I know I have been triggered by people who started at the same time as me and then went on to this like multiple of success that feels like it just skyrocketed way beyond me. You know, what am I doing wrong, right? In no way is any of that helpful. (laughs) This comparison, this question, what am I doing wrong? This is not a helpful question. It also can help keep us um, playing small, right? And keep us trying to play their game instead of our own, trying to play their game instead of our own, because they have their own unique skill sets. They have their own unique strengths. They have their own unique weaknesses as well. And when we try to build a business exactly like someone else's, we wind up building their business, which usually doesn't serve us. So when we do that, we are taking our eyes off of the direction we're meant to go in and we're trying to like read someone else's GPS to a different destination with a different route. And it can, I see this all the time, trying to implement strategies that we have no business implementing because they don't don't fit for our personality or they don't fit for our audience size or they don't fit with our energy or whatever. 
but we really, really want the same result that that person had. And so we can pick a strategy and then see that our favorite influencer or the person that we look up to or follow is doing something else and decide to jump on that right away without really, really taking a look and removing the comparison from the conversation that's happening in our head or out loud. The comparison curse makes us feel not enough. And look, we all struggle with this as humans and in the coaching space, it's really, really loud because it's so easy for people to broadcast their wins and it makes us shrink and it makes us shrink. And one little point that I wanna point out is, you may have heard this before, but in this space, you can make as much money as you want and maybe not have a profit margin to speak of. Like what I'm saying is somebody could be bragging about how they're making seven figures and be spending all but like a dollar, a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars of that a month. And I mean it, I've seen it. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but there are things like that. It's so much is so much more is going on under the surface that you have no idea. And you don't actually know how profitable their business is. You don't actually know how successful they're being. You just know one metric. And that's the metric that everybody in this industry focuses on and tries to chase.